Hi and welcome to today's video. In today's video I'm going to do a 10 minute challenge where I try and take as many creative photographs of our beautiful model Beth as I can. But the little twist on today's challenge is I'm going to try and use what I call presents or gifts. In other words, things that you can find in a venue which are going to help you to create creative photographs. So I'm not going to use any crystals or anything that I brought myself. Everything that I do to make the photographs more creative today are going to be things that I found within a venue. Everything will be done in this room but this room has not only is it a beautiful room but it also offers loads of creative potential. You just have to sort of train your eye to see it. As I say I'm going to give myself 10 minutes and we'll see how we get on. So I'm now going to set my timer. Okay and we're off. So I'm going to start by just going over here. I love in this venue this little stained glass, piece of stained glass here because it gives you a really cool effect when we shoot through it so it takes a little bit of finding but by that's beautiful there Beth once you shoot through this particular area of this glass it gives a very sort of bizarre but I, an effect that I really like of See, and rather than one Beth, we now have seven Beths. <laughs> what can I really want more? We're actually just be looking out the window for me, please, Beth. Beautiful. Excellent. So, when you see things like this, it takes a little bit of time. You might have to find that you might move your camera around a little bit to find a particular place that works. But when you do, it can look really effective. So that's going to be shot one. I think we're happy with what we've got there. Just make sure that they're sharp. Yep. Yeah. I'm now going to move on to looking for reflections. Now, you think with reflections it's important just to try and find a mirror, but things like picture frames, even a very small picture frame like this, will also offer a really good reflection. So I'm going to change now from the 85mm lens to the 35mm lens. All the shots I'm taking today are taken on my Sony A9. So I'm going to ask Beth, if you can just stand up for me please, that's right, just move slightly closer to the wind, that's it, beautiful, gorgeous, I'm going to, actually I might just need you to take one step back, a shot like this, you, the, the lies, I'll look at the screen on the back, is invaluable because you have to get so close to the wall for this to work. Let's see, if I can actually take one tiny step back, Beth, if that's alright. Yeah, there, we're good now. Yeah, it's perfect. So let's just see. The one problem I've got here, but I can't do much about it, is the light that's behind Beth on the wall. But, so I don't think we can turn that off, but that's beautiful. And now, Beth, I'm going to actually just to turn away from the light, if that's okay for me. Tell you what we'll do, actually. Do we have the veil to hand? Not he's all eating into the time, but if I can actually put this in, if that's alright. I have no clue how to put a veil in, but luckily Beth. We'll yeah. I'm just trying to think how we can make this picture just a little bit more dynamic. So I say I, I love the composition now. That's good, that's good. Beautiful that Beth. Just one second. Yeah, that's cool. So if uh, she just to just to waft the veil up for me a little bit. Yeah, cool. Just with the other side if that's alright. Yeah, excellent. Amazing, perfect, I think we got that. Yeah, that's brilliant, thank you. So we're just adding, by using the veil like that, we're doing for time, we're just adding a little bit of movement in. So we're three minutes 15 in. Okay, Beth, if I'm gonna sit you down if that's okay. Uh, yes, please, I think. To make the composition cleaner, it's gonna take away these cushions. 
venue that we're at today, by the way, is Ashfield House in Lancashire. It's a beautiful, beautiful venue. And I love that this room in particular, how we've got the dark wood panelling and the lots of natural light coming from the side. So it gives a really contrasty look between the light and the dark, and that makes for really good portraits. That's beautiful, Beth. So, so whenever you see a table like this, again, it might not look obvious at first, but any glass, glass will always give you a good reflection. So you'll notice I'm gonna get really close to the glass with my camera lens and that's going to give me, that's beautiful Beth, a really clean reflection. If I can ask you Beth, even if you're able to sort of like sit with your arm here and you're sort of lying down so your head's gonna be more this area, so your feet are up there, if that's okay, perfect. Beautiful, let's just move this out. So the shots I'm taking now, I, I have scoped out, as I would do on a real wedding day. I would never come into a room like this and just hope for the best. I will always have a little recce of the, of the space, whether it's indoors, outdoors, come up with a little bit of a plan, which is exactly what I've done here. So that means that you can then be quite efficient with your time when it comes to actually shooting. Perfect, Beth. Beautiful, just look into the light, that's gorgeous. Really nice. Again, I'm using the silent shutter on the A9, so you won't be able to hear the shots, but I'm just sort of take, moving the camera in and out all the time, just taking various slightly different compositions. That's gorgeous. I'm actually as well, even though it's not in the, the idea of today's creative portraits, but just take a, a, a natural light shot because the light here is so, so good. Just do this. I think we've got, okay, for time, five minutes 39. Yeah, I won't spend too long on this, but yeah, that's good, uh, beautiful. Again, shooting this on the 35 mil, that gorgeous. So we're good. Just the last one. That's it, just looking slightly down for me, that, that beautiful. Perfect. Excellent, okay Beth, I'm now going to ask you to stand about here, if that's okay please. So what I'm now going to do, that in a previous video of mine, I've talked about reflections, and in particular using the bevel of a mirror, which is what I'm going to do here. So a lot of mirrors have this little bevel in the corner here. And this can give you a really cool effect if you just shoot into that. Doesn't always work, so let's just see how. Again, I'm placing Beth where she is here so that the natural light is falling onto her. And you'll see that I'm shooting in a direction. So I'm shooting towards the darkness, but the natural light is going to be hitting Beth. If I did it the other way around, it wouldn't look anywhere near as, as clean, if you like, as contrasty. So I'm on the 35. We get something decent on this, but I'm going to change to the 85mm lens, I think. Just see what we get. Also conscious of the time as well, because I've got a couple of other ideas which, um, which I'll see if I've got time for. Yeah, I think I prefer the 85mm for this shot. Shoot at 1.8 as well because I just want to maximise the depth of field, or minimise the depth of field rather. Beautiful Beth. Gorgeous, last ones. Again, I'm just slowly moving the camera around as I'm taking shots. Beautiful. And just looking towards the light Beth for the last one. Stunning, thank you very much. And last one, I will put you back here, please. So what I'm going to do now is look to shoot through something. So if I come over here, again we've got the natural light coming in, natural window light coming in from, from, the, from the side here. Beth is in beautiful light, the background because of the dark wood panel it is very dark. So that means that the background is going to be almost to black, which is, which is cool, which is something that I like. So I can take a lovely portrait anyway, but by finding something such as this trusty weapon, <laughs> um, then we can make some interesting foreground bokeh. So, 
first of all, as I say, because Beth is in such good light, without me doing anything, we'll be able to get really nice, a really nice, just natural light portrait. Gorgeous Beth. Perfect. But if I shoot through this, it's going to just add a little bit of interest, a little bit of bokeh, which I'm going to like. Gorgeous. Perfect. So just if we have time, I'm just going to see what we are doing for time. I've got one minute left. I'm just going to do the same shot on a 35. Usually I'd use two camera bodies at the same time, but because I've got the GoPro on this, so you can see what I'm shooting, I'm, I'm changing lenses. But I say it's obviously not, not the most productive use of your time to, um, to shoot with one camera. But for today, I think it's a bit more useful to do that. Perfect. So you see that the difference that shooting on the 35, I actually think that the 85 one is better, which I must admit I didn't think it would be. That's gorgeous, and I'll just come up a little bit higher. Beautiful there. Excellent, I think I am done with that. I'm very pleased. So we're currently on, let's go over here. We've got 10 seconds left. So, so yeah, I hope what this shows you is just the amount of and variety of images that you can get when you open your, or when you sort of train your eyes to look for potential in a scene. Virtually any room that you ever go in will, will offer you reflections, it will offer you things that you can shoot through, and that's gonna really help you create images which are, which are gonna just stand out a lot more than if you just use the natural light alone. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Seemed pretty decent now, I reckon. It's a wrap. Oh, thank you.